Over the next week, our trained fit testers will be working with all clinical staff to undertake fit testing ready for a return to aerosol generating procedures. Some of you may be aware that in an attempt to ensure the highest level of protection for patients and staff, we've invested in a laser particle counter made by US-based TSI. TSI manufacture and supply their port account device worldwide and are market leaders in this technology. During our training this week, FaceFit UK, TSI's UK agent, advised us that we're the only UK dental practice to their knowledge that owns such a device. They also told us they'd had over 12,000 inquiries for fit testing from UK dentists, but none had gone as far as we had in purchasing and training our own team to use the port account. FaceFit recognised we'd adopted a gold standard method of fit testing borne out by Raj's own experiences of fit testing using the qualitative method currently used by NHS England. The port account device provides a true assessment of particles entering and escaping through the face mask. While NHS England's qualitative method is one which is subjective, testing your ability to taste a bitter solution called Bitterex. The nebulised bitter aerosol is contained around your face using an acetate hood. For us, the main issue with this test is, is that it's subjective, it's time consuming, and it's open to test candidates convincing themselves they're able to taste a Bitterex and providing a possible false pass. From what we can see, many other practices appear to have decided to start using respirator masks routinely without undertaking fit testing. This is against the recommendations of the Health and Safety Executive and it's contrary to our approach, which is to test all our clinical staff. We've secured a large stock of good quality N95 masks that are both CE marked and EN143 certified. All masks used in dentistry should display these markings. If stocks deplete and we're required to buy a different mask or model, fit testing must be repeated with a new mask type. For that reason, we've worked to secure a large stock of good quality N95 masks. During training, two of our managers experienced a borderline fail on their fit test. This is despite the quality of the masks tested. Using the port account device, we performed further tests with our N95 mask, this time introducing a 3D Bellus face frame. The 3D Bellus face frame is 3D printed using an app generated scan of an individual's face. This ensures every frame fits the user's face perfectly and believe will help repeat the fit test results we've seen thus far, which are two or three times the levels required for safe operation in a dental surgery. This provides us with a clear path to fit testing and resuming the undertaking of aerosol generating procedures with patients. Our port account device enables us to record an individual report for each one of you and will help ensure the best fit and filtering mask. This will protect our patients and our team thanks to that investment in the port account device. Our trained team of fit testers has started testing teams with our N95 masks without face frames. If you fail your test, don't despair. You'll have a face frame within a week and your fit test can be repeated with a face frame. We're confident that you will pass your fit test with a face frame and some calibration. When you receive your fit testing, our trainers will explain the workings of the port account and demonstrate how you can maximise the efficiency of your N95 mask. Our N95 face mask solution will work alongside other aerosol isolation risk mitigants, such as high volume evacuation and the use of rubber dam, which combined already reduce aerosol by between 90 and 95%. We hope that you can see and understand that we are doing all we can as a group to protect the safety of our patients and our staff.